Welcome back to a late show, everybody. Let's check in real quick with a man I can't wait to hear live again, Mr. John Baptiste. Hello, John. Hello, Stephen. Ooh, my this goodness, is a whole year. Whole, a whole year. It was a year ago tonight that I saw you for the last time. You, I know. You, I got on my hovercraft and left the, the roof of the Ed Sullivan Theater, and you got into a pneumatic tube and were shot yeah. over to Brooklyn. Yeah. Yes. You know, yes. you got to protect yourself out there. <laughs> you do. It's a new age, You baby. do. Um, well, what's the, what's the, do you have a first song you want to play when you're back in front of the audience? Oh, yeah, actually. Uh... John Baptiste, everybody. I hope you get to play it soon. Thank you, John. You know, folks, I spent a lot of time carefully designing and sewing the newsiest kimonos out of the most beautiful topical silk, then meticulously grinding and applying uh, kumadori makeup, all to stage for you the elaborate kabuki performance that is my monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, friends, I roused my wife and neighbors at 3 a.m. down a pickle jar of flat white claw, saved from uh, special nights, shove everyone into my living room with nothing but their pajamas and a box of wigs I stole from a funeral home and force them into the inebriated charades thunderdome of news that is my segment. Quarantine while. Quarantine while. This weekend, New York City's very own naked cowboy was arrested for panhandling in Florida. Authorities approached him when they noticed people were placing money inside the sound hole of his guitar. Warning to my viewers, if this man approaches you and asks you to stuff things in a sound hole, do not engage. Quarantine while. Disney Plus has removed access to classic movies like Dumbo and Peter Pan from menus for children under seven years old because they contain racist stereotypes. So congratulations, eight-year-olds. Disney knows where to draw the line, I guess. If you're visiting the Magic Kingdom, don't even try to order a mojito until you're 12. Quarantine while. One of the world's largest swarms of giant cicadas is rated to rise by the billions. Well, that's the most terrifying combination of words I've heard in a while. The cicadas are set to storm the eastern U.S. at densities up to 1.5 million per acre. But if you're worried about fleets of giant insects coming to eat you, take heart. They came to hump, and that's it. After 17 years underground, experts say they will do it in the trees, on your patio, your porch, your yard, your roof, and your car. The worst Dr. Seuss book ever. Horton hears a whole bunch of bugs having sex. You'll hear them near, you'll hear them far, you'll hear them boning on your car. Quarantine while. In Finland, scientists just unveiled something called Netflix for monkeys, or is also known, Netflix. This new primate streaming service is an experiment at the zoo in Helsinki, where researchers outfitted the white-faced sake monkey cage with a monitor where the animals can choose to stream video footage of things like worms, sea creatures, other zoo animals, forest scenes, and abstract art. Because if there are two things I associate with monkeys, it's bananas and their nuanced appreciation of Mark Rothko. Quarantine while. In, hey, maybe don't do that news, 100 million year old seafloor sediment bacteria have been resuscitated. I'm sorry, has the current pandemic lost your interest? I grow bored of this coronavirus. Unleash the contagion of the ancients. It all started when Japanese scientists sailed into the South Pacific gyre with a giant drill and a big question. How can we scare the crap out of everyone? They dropped their giant drill 20,000 feet into the Pacific and took core samples containing the 100 million year old bacterial cells. And when given food, most of them quickly revived, which the scientists did not expect. Oh, good. The last thing I would want is for the scientists reanimating the primordial entities to know what they're doing. According to the research, evidence mounts that bacteria can be effectively immortal. Okay, let's see what we got here. Primeval, uh, yes, okay, infectious, absolutely, unexpectedly revived, uh, yes, 
and immortal. Gotcha. Global extinction bingo. I want a tattered canvas to huddle under against the blood storms. Oh, and FYI, the location they chose for this drilling was, and you're gonna love this, the so-called Oceanic Pole of Inaccessibility made famous by H.P. Lovecraft as the home of the betentacled Cthulhu. Okay, that's it. I'm out. I've seen Pacific Rim. I know what comes next. You're gonna build a big robot to punch Cthulhu in the face. Just do me a favor. If you're expending all those resources, build your robot bigger than the monster you're punching, you dinguses. We'll be right back with Billy Crystal.